the greatest ideas have come from sitting on the toilet. Every day, some company, individual or group, is known for giving the public a load of bullshit. Come here to get your daily dose of shit by Alan Cousin. It's time you hear the shit everyone wants to know. Everybody, it's your daily dose of shit today with your host Alan Cousin from Dallas, Texas on Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. And might I add, it is not a good day. No. It is 23 degrees here in good old state of Texas. And, uh, there's snow around these parts right now. So, uh, you know, a little different there for these Texans, you know. how I can only imagine how Texas gets where you start having ice and snow on, on the roads. And in this big old state where, you know, we're used to being hot. Not used to having snow and ice. So it's been a quite interesting last two days as far as people going to grocery stores and buying up everything and people ordering food ahead of time and, you know, basically nobody's driving around for the most part because they don't want to be slipping and sliding all over the place. And, uh, you know, if you have a heater, you're using it. You're using it well, fireplace and so forth because it's cold out there in those, uh, Parts right now, Texas. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is Alan Cousin from Your Daily Dose of Shit, founder of Get Up Radio, Get Up Radio Media. And I want to tell you that today I am here to speak about something lovely. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, of course, I said, you know, it's not a great day because it's winter, but that does not mean I don't have anything great to talk about. And I actually do. Because you know what? I actually just got off the toilet. <laughs> And it was because it was so cold in the bathroom. I just didn't want. Why is it that they don't put heaters in most bathrooms? You ever thought about that? You know, they never really have like a vent in the bathroom. They never really have like a heater in the bathroom. They technically just have like a a fan, you know, because of course, you know, when some people go in there and do a number two, you want to kind of air it out. But they really don't have any heaters in bathrooms. Like it's not a normal thing. So, of course, you know, you wake up in the morning, afternoon, whatever, and you go use the restroom, and it's cold as hell outside. And, you know, know, yes, you got the heater going on through your circulation throughout the house. It doesn't circulate everywhere, so you sit your nice little butt on that nice porcelain tail lid, and next thing you know, you're like, woof, a little brr, a little cold here, you know what I'm saying? So, so I've got to say, I was not trying to be on the toilet too much today at all but while i was there i was thinking about you know i need to do a show and on my daily dose of shit podcast i need to talk about a young lady who made my day made my day my week my month my year because she helped me when she had a choice and she did everything in her Ability to make my mistake and a mistake from a computer basically change. So let me help you out here so you can understand. Okay, we're gonna get this going, right? So here's the deal I am going New Year's Eve because I'm a New Year's Eve kind of guy. You know, I love New Year's Eve, it's all about the celebration and going into the new year and looking at your past and trying to create a better future and. Just knowing that that day is the day that most people party and get along with each other. If every day could be New Year's, life would be so much different, to say the least. Because it has been proven that on New Year's Eve, 
80 to 90 percent of people if not almost 100 percent are nice to each other i mean everybody gets alone everybody's having a good time everybody's partying everybody's respecting everyone it's just like that one day the whole world just changes the sun just comes up the clouds are great and i don't know if it's in the water or the air but everybody just is nice to each other and looking forward to having fun isn't that interesting one day huh one day in a year if we could just make that day contagious boy could only imagine what the world would be like right but until we find that situation out and changing we just gotta deal with what we gotta deal with right but anyway my my greatest <sighs> i did enjoy not christmas not easter not birthday nope new year's eve i even send my mom a pizza every year as a tradition for new year's eve so she can know that her son is thinking about her and know that basically you know um, her son wants her to celebrate with or without me so you know every year no matter where i am i order a pizza from domino's pizza and food or whatever and i get it sent to my mom around new year's eve talking about traditions right but this year you know because normally my tradition is and I, I do have traditions, right? My tradition is on New Year's Eve, I stay at a hotel, nice hotel. I go to a nice event, nice party, whatever. I get a rental car sometimes, depending on the situation. And um, I go enjoy a nice dinner at a nice restaurant. And that's my New Year's Eve. That's what I do. Because I want to enjoy the day going into the New Year. I want to enjoy that last day of the year moving into the new year saying i'm going to be doing this throughout throughout the year throughout the year because that's what i believe i believe that whatever you're doing december 31st going into new january 1st that's what you're going to be doing for most of your year so if that's the case i'm going to make sure i'm spending some nice time in nice hotels traveling enjoying nice uh, food at nice restaurants and dining out driving a nice car spending having the ability to spend money and enjoy myself with family and friends being around family and friends I always make sure I have family or friends around me at that time as well wherever I'm partying or staying at and of course enjoying the moment with my loved ones my girls you know as we see the new year through and say happy new year So, this year, 2023, I'm about to do something I have not done yet. And I am so, so excited. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So, I've been wanting to go to a certain part in the world for a very, very long time. I mean, I'm talking a very, very long time. And I have said all long i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i mean i've had times where people have invited me to go and i say oh yeah i need to go and i still haven't gone and i was like wait a minute i'm not getting any younger man i am not getting any younger sooner or later what if i don't wake up then i don't get to go at all so i've decided this year 2023 me and my girls my lovely beautiful women that i love adore and would do anything for them. we're going to celebrate New Year's Eve in are you ready I don't know if you're ready we're going to celebrate New Year's Eve in Australia I know I know yeah it's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wait, Alan, you are going to celebrate New Year's Eve in Australia? Sydney, Australia, not Melbourne, by the way, Sydney, Australia, with your girls. Well, you are doing quite well for yourself, young man. I'm like, yes, I am. You know, it's about time I celebrate and get a little higher on my uh, traditions. So, yes, I am excited. I am thoroughly excited. It's like, dude, this is going to be a long 2023. I can see right now because I'm going to be looking forward to December 31st. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be flying there from December 29th to January 5th. We're going to, of course, fly and enjoy seven days in Australia as we enjoy having a New Year celebration 
in Australia, Sydney, Australia. So, of course, I'm going and trying to book hotels. I'm like, oh, got to get to hotels, got to get the flights, you know. Flights are not even available yet because, you know, the flight patterns haven't been created yet. So, I can't even get a flight yet. But I went ahead and tried to book the hotel. And, of course, I'm thinking, you know, 20 days in, it should be no problem. Well, Mr. Cousin and everyone out there, let me explain something to you about New Year's in Sydney, Australia. It must be extremely popular because when I called on the 20th of January trying to book a uh, a hotel reservation and I called through a concierge of a certain credit card that I have who are very good in getting me what I want. Okay. Very good at getting me what I want. They told me almost all the hotels are sold out. So I'm like, what? Are you serious? Oh my God, I'm glad I'm calling now. I'm thinking it's not even the end of the month yet. And you're telling me all the hotels in Sydney, Australia for New Year's Eve is almost sold out. And they're like, yes, sir, Mr. Cousin. Now, Melbourne was free, but that was nine hour drive away. And they were telling me, you know, if you're going to celebrate New Year's and you're going to do it right in Australia, Sydney is the place you want to be. City, you know, Opera House, Harbor, plenty of people, plenty of things, plenty of themes, plenty of action. You want to definitely be in Sydney. I'm like, oh, well, we're we going to get me in Sydney then, right? So you're going to book me in Sydney. She said, don't worry, I'm going to find one. And she worked hard and she did and worked extremely hard. And Anne found me a hotel. And that hotel was, a, was okay. It's not that bad. You know, it's like a kind of like a comfort suite kind of hotel, fair for them kind of hotel. But it was a Marriott. And, you know, I'm a Marriott man, right? Always Marriott man when I can be, but they had no Marriott hotels available. Not one. So then she offered me two choices, four seasons hotel, which you know, I'm not been at the four seasons once or twice. That's not really my thing. I mean, plus it's kind of overrated in my personal opinion. Or this other hotel called the called Monroe's, you know, for the all call A R L C O R hotels. So I took that. Well, I booked it because I just wanted to make sure I got a hotel, right? Well, when I got it, I looked at it like, oh, it's not really the kind of hotel I want. But that's okay because I got a hotel. That's all that matters. Got a hotel in Sydney. That's all that matters. So then I went ahead and joined up their, you know, member program because, you know, they had a membership program. And I was like, well, let me join the membership program so I can earn some points and maybe get some amenities and so forth. So I called and asked them, you know, now that I joined their mini program, you know. Uh, I just wanted to make sure to confirm my rooms in there. Well, the young lady said, well, that's great. But unfortunately, because you didn't book through us, the amenity program doesn't work for the members. You have to book it through us. But I wish you would have called us because we actually have other hotels that are not shown in the hotel sequence for people to book. And I'm like, what? She said, oh, yeah, we have two other hotels you could have looked at that you could have booked through us. And I was like, oh, man. But, of course, you know, all the hotels are non-refundable because it's New Year's Eve. So I said, well, I'm going to call my concierge service at my certain credit card place because they're known for making miracles happen. Right. And see if they can get that transferred to the other room. Well, of course, they uh, was able to do so. It took some time, but. As I said, they make miracles happen. And they said, Mr. Cousin, we talked to the management and we finally got in touch with them. And, you know, it took a couple of days because, you know, different time schedules and so forth, time zones. But we were able to let them get you to cancel and transfer so that you can book at the other hotel. So I'm like, all right, this is wonderful. So can we do go ahead and do that? Well, now I've discovered that because the money was kind of caught up in my credit card, they couldn't use that money at that time to go ahead and book the other hotel and of course there's very few, few rooms available so I'm a little scared I'm like oh my god I don't want to lose this room I don't want to lose not having a room right in Sydney Australia so then I decide well I'm just going to go ahead and explain to them that's okay I'm just going to go ahead and book the room on their website since they said if I book it on their website I get to have the amenities and the discount and so forth so I went on there and I looked at the two hotels one was Ibis IBIS, 
Darling Harbor, and one was Novotel Darling Harbor. And oh, Novotel looks so nice. It was so so nice. I mean, Harbor View, and I mean, bigger room and you know, restaurant and room service and tennis court and uh, outside restaurant and bar. Oh, now the IBIS was nice too. I mean, just the rooms were a bit smaller though. I mean, it had a beach front and harbor view as well but it's just the rooms were a little bit smaller you know had a restaurant though room service but the novotel just caught my attention right so i'm like okay so i'm gonna go online and i'm gonna go on their app and i'm gonna go ahead and book the novotel and you know we're gonna be happy i'm gonna go ahead and get that harbor view you know executive suite yeah i'm gonna make this happen right so i go through that app and i select and i put my credit card information and as a new member or get my program and my benefit and my membership number and i hit send and it says you are booked congratulations you're booked at the ibis darling harbor hotel and i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wait a minute back up i I specifically know I selected the Novotel and I specifically know I wanted to stay at the Novotel and I selected the room and clicked on it and went to next, put my information in and now I am booked at the IBIS Hotel. The IBIS Darling Hotel. You see, it's you know, so similar. IBIS Darling Hotel, Novotel Darling Hotel. I mean, so I can understand, but the computer just kind of said, well, Mr. Cousin, I know you clicked this, but we're giving you that. And I was a little upset. So I called, you know, called Australia right away. But of course, I forgot the time zone. So, you know, it's four in the morning there. They're not open for a reservation. So they said call back in about four hours and, you know, uh, about nine, about five hours and 9 a.m. They'll be open. So I waited five hours and I called back. And when I called back, they said, well, Mr. Cousin, we'll see what we can do, but we have to call the other hotel, and then we'll call you back. So I waited. Nobody called back yet. So then I called back about two hours later, you know, because they said give them about two hours, and I called back, and they said, oh, well, the manager has not gotten to it yet, but uh, we'll get the information, and then the manager will call you. So, you know, I waited. Nobody called. Waited the next day. Nobody called. After that, I called again, and they said, oh, don't worry, um, the manager still got a lot going on, so we're trying to see if we can get this process, we'll call you back. So I'm getting a little worried, because every day, every minute, every hour, rooms are being taken. And I'm like, I know I got a room, don't get me wrong, I know I got a room, and thank you God for allowing me to get that room, those two rooms, you know. But I want that Novotel Hotel, if possible, so now I decide I want to email you know, because I'm like, well, I'm calling, I'm calling. Well, you know, maybe if I email somebody, right? So I email and explain my situation, of course. Sure enough, I got a reply. And the young lady said, Mr. You know, Mr. Cousin, sorry for the delay, but our, our actual reservations reservation center is not open until Monday. And, of course, you did this during the weekend. But now that I am available, I will look into your situation and assist you. And, you know, she notified me that normally it's a non-refundable fee and she was apologetic how the computer didn't book the right one being that it was a Novotel and the IBIS Darling Harbor Hotel, both similar in name, but just two different brands. And that she will notify IT of the situation as well, but she will see what she can do about getting me to Novotel. So then she does her work and she's trying and she's trying and she's keeping me informed while she's trying of course and it's not you know like a day it takes about a day and maybe a little more than 24 hours and finally she comes back and says mr cousin i've spoken to the general manager of novotel darling uh, harbor and they're willing to let us transfer your money and get you a room but unfortunately because it's you know new year's eve it's going to cost a little extra for the rooms that you want because those rooms are much bigger and has more amenities and i'm like no problem go ahead do what you got to do let's get this done and she had to work some magic let me tell you let me tell you this lady amanda sturgeon amanda sturgeon just so you know that's her name amanda sturgeon a-m-a-n-d-a and then sturgeon s-t-u-r-g-e-o-n amanda 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 made my day because amanda worked hard to make this happen she couldn't just go into the system and book directly december 29th to january 5th no 
because of how crowded and how booked those fl- those hotel rooms were and how they were just going away, going away, going away. She had to make three different reservations to capture rooms to get me and my girls two rooms, Harbor View at the Novotel Darling Hotel. Let me tell you, Amanda is amazing. Amazing. I mean, don't you think so? What do we, what do you think, guys? Yeah. They yeah. agree. Amanda Sturgeon is amazing. Thank you, Amanda Sturgeon. Thank you. And she made my day. I mean, she worked her butt off and she made my day. And let me tell you, when I go to Australia, I'm going to go ask for Amanda Sturgeon because I want to want to give her a big old hug and maybe give her a little bit of a gift or a tip or dinner or something because she didn't have to work as hard as she did. She didn't have to go above and beyond like she did, but she did. And she made me, my girls, one of the most happiest individuals because now we're going to go to Australia. We're going to enjoy New Year's Eve and we're going to stay there in style because I'm known for doing things in style you know eating in style driving in style living in style that's my thing you know I'm a stylish kind of guy I like enjoying life and I like living it living it to the fullest if possible when I can I do and I am now able to do that because of Amanda Sturgeon in Australia who works for the Novotel Darling Harbor Hotel. Thank you. Or she works for Alcor, A L L C O R Hotels. So if you're listening and you're with the Alcor Hotels, and you're in management, then you need to pay attention to Amanda Sturgeon. Or, you know, if you're her boss or her director, you need to take care of her and give her something. Because she made this gentleman who's the founder of get up radio who's the founder of get up radio media broadcast who's a member of the national press club of washington dc she made me a happy 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 individual thank you amanda sturgeon because i've always wanted to go to australia I've, had, like I said, I've been invited several times i've always wanted and i just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and finally here i am going and i mess up getting the wrong hotel and then i find out there was a better hotel and then of course the computer says no to me and i don't get the hotel i wanted but amanda sturgeon said no alan you're getting the hotel because you deserve it because i'm amanda sturgeon and i make things happen and let me tell you she is the true true image of customer service and how customer service should work and how customer service representatives should act supervisors managers representatives all of them she shows genuine care and shows that she is truly about customer service at her organization and she definitely follows their vision and mission statement Of taking care of the guest. Even before they arrive. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So yes. I'm a happy. 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 Man. And you know what? I'm gonna love it. And I'm definitely gonna make sure. Amanda Sturgeon gets a great thank you from me. In many ways. So. There's my daily dose of shit. There's my whoa that turned into yay. So, but before I leave, because I want Amanda Sturgeon, I want Novotel Darling Harbor Hotel, I want Alcor Hotels Management to know how happy I am, to know how much I appreciate Amanda Sturgeon. Amanda Sturgeon. That I'm going to play a song that just kind of gives you understanding of how I feel. How I was just so anxious and so down and so depressed. And how she just changed that and made me so, so happy. So, this song's for you, Amanda Sturgeon.
and yes, I do understand that the video will kind of conceal like a relationship kind of thing. But I look at it like, you know what? I was really depressed, really lost, really frustrated. And Amanda Sturgeon turned it around and gave me the best day of my life right then and there, knowing I can get what I want and enjoy what I want and live life in Australia like I really wanted to live with my girls and and live it, live it gloriously in the kind of style that I, I'm used to and accustomed to. So anyway, once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda Sturgeon, for what you have done. And please understand that I will never forget this ever, ever, never, never. Plus, I want to say one thing about Australians. My God, that that voice, the, 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 the accent that y'all have is just so alluring and so amazing and I could just listen to it all day, just so you know. But we'll talk about that maybe another time on another show. So anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me. And if you're in Texas, please stay warm. Well, hell, if you're anywhere, probably in the north and midwest, stay warm as well. But more so if you're in Texas, because I know you're not used to that. Well, who's used to that in Texas? Stay warm. Drive safely. And look forward to tomorrow where I talk about my next daily dose of shit to let you know what was Alan Cousin thinking while he was on the toilet. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for listening to your daily dose of shit talk show. If you have some insights, questions, or information of bullshit to pass on, please email us at momentousevents at AOL.com. Make sure to come back daily to hear some new shit about money, business, life, and who knows what else. As I take a dump on the toilet.